Hi, my name is Ken Oliver. I'm gonna show you a stenciling technique with Color Burst using one of my mixed media mat boards, a stencil, and Color Burst. This technique is so easy, you'll be able to create a beautiful watercolor painting in about three minutes. So to make this beautiful watercolor painting, it's gonna be so easy, you're gonna love this. I've got my mat board in front of me on the best ever craft mat, and I have a stencil from the Crafter's Workshop. I've chosen a beautiful rose stencil uh, to do this painting. And I'm gonna make some selections about color too. I'm gonna to use fuchsia. I'm gonna use some alizarin crimson. I'm also going to use some beautiful greens because I see there are some leaves in here. I'm gonna use chartreuse, terra verte, and sap green. Um, an assortment that would be really good for this if you wanted would be the uh, new fresh florals assortment. The peony would be great for the roses. And there's also a color in here called wisteria if you happen to like purple roses. Um, so this is so easy. I'm really just going to sprinkle around color burst powder in each one of my roses. And you can see that I'm not sprinkling a ton of powder, just really enough to uh, make sure that I've got a little powder in each one of the um, rose stenciled uh, patterns. And this will take me just a minute because I am painting with powder. I'm gonna go all around this with alizarin crimson. And when I get that done, I'm gonna come back and layer in some more color with fuchsia. So I've got a nice uh, start of alizarin crimson. I'm gonna come back with a little fuchsia. And just to layer in some color to give those roses some depth and dimension. And then when you're sprinkling, it does not take a lot at all. This Color Burst Powder is so concentrated and it's really, really intense. It just takes a little bit of Color Burst to get a lot of color. Some of my friends call it the powder with the power because it's so colorful. And you're gonna see what I mean in just a minute when I spritz this. I think to highlight some of these roses, I'm gonna come back with a little bit of uh, yellow, some gamboge to give them a little bit of highlight. And now the remaining pieces of the stencil are actually leaves and swirls. So for my leaves and swirls, I'm going to bring in some green, some terra verte green. And I'm just going to layer in some greens inside those leaves for a really, really nice effect. The way this works is whenever you mist this with water, the color burst that's exposed on the surface of the mat board develops. And anywhere the stencil is touching the mat board, it stays clean. You'll see what I mean, but it's really, really dramatic and it's a lot of fun to do. And it's gonna look so good when it's done. You could give this to a friend and they'll think that you're a watercolor genius. Now I'm gonna to continue to layer in some greens. I'm gonna come back with some sap green. Sap green is a little bit of a brighter green. And then just for some highlights, I've got some chartreuse. Chartreuse is a very springy color. It's a color of fresh new leaves as they open up. Now I pretty much have like a nice amount of color burst on my stencil. And to develop this color, I'm just gonna give it a nice uh, spritz of water. But the key thing here is to use a spritz bottle with an adjustable nozzle, because you want to adjust this so that you have a really, really fine mist of water when you mist this. So I'm gonna take a minute and just adjust my spray to make sure I've got a really nice, fine spritz of water. And then I'm gonna give it a few spritz of water and watch that color burst right in front of your eyes. How cool is that? It's really dramatic. And then the key to this is to get enough water on your surface to develop the color, but not to create puddles. So it only takes a little bit. And then when you lift up the stencil, just like that, you have a beautiful rose painting. So I wanna show you a little trick using the stencil that we just used to make the painting. As you can see, there's still a lot of color burst on that stencil. I'm gonna grab a piece of 12 by 12 water media paper. And I'm actually just gonna turn this stencil over and print this. So we'll actually make good use of the color burst that was still on the stencil. So I've laid it down and almost like a brayer, I'm gonna take my paper towel and just roll over this as to kind of brayer it or to print that color burst onto the watercolor paper. And watch how cool this looks. When I lift up the stencil, you have 
a beautiful stenciled rose background that would be perfect for starting a scrapbook layout. So look how easy that was to create this beautiful watercolor painting. I have a couple of tips to uh, help you make sure that you're very successful with this. When you lay your stencil down, do not touch it. Make sure that you don't let it slide around, but lay it flat and then do not touch it as you're sprinkling color burst onto the surface. That way you'll ensure that you get a really crisp image. And I would also recommend for this type of painting, using the new Fresh Florals assortment. They have beautiful colors that would give you a wonderful result. Colors like peony, marigold, and wisteria, if you like uh, purple roses, and the sap green and Naples yellow would make beautiful leaves. So with this stenciling technique, I showed you how to make a beautiful painting that would look good in any room of your home. It would also make an amazing gift for any holiday like Mother's Day, even Christmas. It's really, really beautiful. And with the color burst that we still had on our stencil, I showed you how to print that onto watercolor paper to start a beautiful scrapbook layout.